Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do a special type of reading for the various zodiac sign. This is for Sagittarius. Um, it is Saturn in Aquarius and how the energies would be affecting you in the upcoming weeks. Um, <coughs> sorry. This would be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Sagittarius. Just keep in mind, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, all the information would be in the description box below. All right, so let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has for you guys. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. So this is you standing in your power, making all the decisions that you know that you want to make. Um, this is you standing up for yourself, being in full control of your own situation. Having options or there is some kind of confusion that is circling you at this point in time, but you are dealing with it very diplomatically. And being very strong could have something to do with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this person is making cold, calculated decisions based on facts rather than their heart. Mm. Okay, a lot of messages coming out for Sagittarius, I guess. All right. Somebody is about to rush in, could be this um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody is about to rush in to give some truth to you. Or you could be rushing in to give them some truth concerning options or some kind of confusion that is happening. Something to do with money, uh, home life, loyalty. Somebody is about to step into the queen of cups energy and offer love to someone. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here as well. There are a lot of queens, so it could be same-sex couple. But somebody is about to approach you or you are about to approach someone with a love offer. Mm -hmm. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have that somewhere in your chat as well. Or this person isn't really financially stable. Or isn't who they say they are as regards to materialistic gains. But somebody is willing to work on something. Um, they are working earnestly on something. Could be uh, could have something to do with somebody in your workplace. Or it could be that somebody is working on something. Um... Somebody is about to come towards you very slowly to make an offer. Uh, I don't think it has to do with love, though. Or this person isn't ready to offer you the type of love that you require, but they are coming into you very slowly. So probably by the time they have reached you, that king could possibly go in the upright. Um... This person is very emotionally overwhelmed right now and things aren't, see, things aren't working out for them emotionally and this is causing anxiety. So Sagittarius, this could be you or the person you're dealing with, could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but it is causing some anxiety and sleepless nights. Mm-hmm. Um, but somebody could be rushing into you very soon to offer you passion or this could be you rushing into someone to offer them passion. Uh, hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. So this person that you're rushing into could be one of those signs. But this person is more stable, is more secure, is very nurturing, kind, a motherly figure. 
somebody that could be older than you or could be more mature than you um there are some deceits and lies that is happening when it comes to a new beginning in love about some kind of dispute that someone is trying to avoid yep and something isn't being illuminated because it's probably not the right time yet somebody's finally coming out of the nine of wands energy where they are wounded warrior but they aren't ready to give up because this is not making them happy in the very least it is affecting their home and family life could be a Aries Leo or Sag but this person is just throwing tantrums because it is in the reverse this person is not being logical they aren't being um, supportive or knowing exactly what they want it's like it's constant tantrums they aren't ready for reconciliation as yet but they would like to have an equal give and take situation or somebody giving and them taking or them taking and somebody giving but just however it applies uh, could be a Virgo you're dealing with or a Libra or a Leo but all is in the reverse the hermit is in the reverse so somebody isn't taking time out to do any retrospect someone can't find balance in the situation and somebody is giving up on the whole situation because somebody is being childish and not standing in the Empress energy but rather running from it But Spirit is saying trust your intuition when it comes to a Sagittarius or trust yourself because we have these two in the upright. We have actually, we have six major arcanas in the last six cards that I pulled. The universe is trying to get you to see something. They are saying trust your intuition and trust yourself when it comes to this situation because I don't think you'll be getting clarity in this specific situation. All right, I'm going to be taking a look at your present, past, and future energies and see how best I could explain the situation a little further. So in the present energy, we have the two of ones. So you're at a crossroad. You have a decision to make. When it comes to a third party situation, gathering with friends, celebrating something. About confusion, options. All right, let's see what happened in the past for you guys. Money cards. So we have the chariot, somebody moving on or moving away from a situation very quickly. Could have something to do with a cancer, something to do with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or somebody making decisions, irrational decisions with their heart rather than using facts. Um, and somebody not rushing in to give you any truth. All right, let's see what the future energy is for you guys. You're not having a recognized victory when it comes to some type of truth that was exposed after an upheaval or a tower moment happened concerning some sneakiness of some sort. Um, you're not ready for a cycle to close off yet because you are ready to move forward to someone, maybe a water science, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and offer them love. <coughs> Sorry. All right, two of wands for the sign of Sagittarius, spirit. All right, so we have the lovers in reverse. So somebody that you may have seen as a soulmate, you are now reconsidering or deciding to choose between a karmic and a soulmate. 
because something is not happening in this department and you are tired of being silent about it or holding something close to your chest or somebody is holding was holding something holding on to something and i think now they are ready to let go because they don't see a reconciliation happening or clarity being spoken concerning a past situation probably has to do with a third party as well all right so there are options because you aren't happy when it comes to the stalemate that you have been in and you are going to walk away to create more options for yourself all right let's see in the past the chariot we have someone being in their head feeling like their hands are tied when it comes to a wife or a child's mother and this person is not standing in the emperor's energy instead behaving like a child or a brat something to do with a probable third party situation or a heartbreak that happened and somebody is ready to move on and move away from the situation very quickly towards their wishes their wish fulfillment but something is stalling them right now because we have the Knight of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Swords. So um, this person isn't rushing in to give any clarity. The King of Swords in the reverse is clarified by the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups in the reverse. So it has something to do with a husband or a father figure and someone not ready to offer love to someone else because they may have felt like someone left them out in the cold all right in the future we have the six of wands in the reverse so somebody isn't going to get a recognized victory when it comes to a taurus or somebody that doesn't want a commitment because of some kind of lies and deception that happened or something that was done or happened that the whole truth wasn't exposed because of somebody being sneaky and deceptive um, could have to do the truth coming out about a third party situation or a collaboration with somebody. Um, a new cycle is nobody is taking a leap of faith when it comes to someone being single or detached. All right, so what is the tower for Sagittarius? When you don't trust your intuition, things are going to creep up on you, you are going to have an upheaval. Yep, when you don't stand in your own energy and in your own power and know how gorgeous and strong you are, you're going to feel like you're down on your luck. But this sour moment happened for you to realize that you have everything you need to make your own luck. <laughs> Alright, let's see where's the seven of swords here. Anxiety. Someone is having sleepless nights when it comes to the situation. Because somebody is obsessed, could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, could have some kind of addiction or procrastination that is keeping them up at night. But they are no longer in the wounded warrior stage and they don't really care much about it. Alright, let me see if I can get three pieces of advice to you guys from the universe to best guide you into what direction you need to go in take some time out have some retrospect it could have to do with a Virgo as well standing in the Empress energy showing that you are beautiful you have gone through the ringer and you can still stand proud or walk away for some of you take charge of a situation or it could be an Aries you're dealing with and somebody is not taking charge of the situation. The spirit is saying for you to take charge of the situation and rush in and offer passion maybe. But um, this person, we have the emperor and the empress here. So once you both decide to step into these roles, things should work out for you. For those of you that are not walking away and is going to try to fix this union. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.